as I like to say, we've come a long way. Yeah, that rhymes. Hey guys, who are you? David DeFranco here from DavidTheFranco.com with my review of the Azul Access Plus. Now, this might look a little familiar because this is the second generation of the original Access that I talked about a while back. Check out this clip. And speaking of streaming media, all of this is powered via a single HDMI port as well as the included power adapter. You plug it in, connect the power adapter, and you are on your way. Okay, so this is the same exact idea as before. It's a fanless Windows 10 mini PC that plugs in directly via HDMI to any TV or monitor. All right, so then you connect the included power adapter and you're good to go. That's pretty much all there is to it. But wait, there is one very important feature that I wanna mention, and that's the fact that this comes included in the box. This right here is an HDMI extension cable. Something I really disliked about the original Access computer, it was an excellent computer, but this one feature alone turned me off. And now thankfully, it's fixed. The original Access wasn't the easiest thing to plug into the back of TVs or monitors, because well, let's face it, we all have other accessories plugged into our TVs and receivers as it is. From gaming consoles, to Blu-ray players, to media streaming boxes like my Apple TV, it can get a bit crowded behind TVs and monitors. But thankfully that is no longer a problem. Using this cable, you can simply connect it, boom, you are good to go. Now thankfully I don't need to do that on the monitor that I'm using for this video, so it still fits just fine. All right, so with all that said, let's talk about some brief specs because specs are important to some people, me not so much, but I'm gonna talk about them anyway. Okay, so the Azul Access Plus does run Windows 10, as mentioned, and it's powered by a 64-bit quad-core Intel Atom Cherry Trail CPU. It uses two USB ports, one of them being USB 3.0, which are perfect for connecting a keyboard, mouse, etc. However, Bluetooth is built in, more on that in a bit. We get two gigabytes of DDR3L RAM by default, but you can upgrade to four gigabytes with the optional upgrade package. Now in terms of actual storage, we only get 32 gigabytes of internal storage by default with no option to upgrade. However, the Access Plus does include a built-in micro SD slot. Using your own micro SD card, you can get up to 128 gigabytes of additional storage, which I think is plenty for how you're most likely gonna be using this thing for streaming movies, showing off your photos, installing a few games, so you know what? That's not bad. And finally, the Access Plus features dual band Wi-Fi as well as Bluetooth 4.0, which is perfect for your wireless accessories such as a mouse, keyboard, and anything else that's compatible. All right, so getting up close and personal, let's talk about the Azul Access Plus and who it's really intended for. Because while well, being realistic, you're not gonna be getting serious work done on something like this. You're not gonna be doing graphic design, you're not gonna be doing video editing. What is the Access Plus good for? Well, in my opinion, and according to Azul's website, we obviously agree on this, it's perfect for streaming 1080p HD media. So in other words, it's great for Netflix, HBO Go, YouTube, Plex, you name it, boom, the Access Plus streams it very well. And also, the Access Plus is actually perfect for desktop users who are looking to be on the go. Let's say you take this to work, you plug it into your monitor, you get some work done, and well, you don't feel like using a laptop because not everyone's a laptop kind of person. Well, you unplug it from your work monitor, you bring it home, you plug it into your main monitor or even your TV, and boom, just like that, you're back on your computer. And I think that's pretty cool. Now, it's not as convenient as bringing a laptop around with you, but sometimes people prefer that large TV slash monitor desktop-like experience, and there's nothing wrong with that. And for the price, I don't think that's a bad deal. I'll talk about pricing in a bit. All right, so in terms of gaming, I'm not gonna lie to you and say you're gonna be getting 4K performance on Crisis or Solitaire, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Who, who plays Solitaire in 4K? Maybe you do, I don't know. But seriously, this is not a gaming computer. I mean, I don't even have to tell you that, right? We should all know that. But in terms of casual gaming, such as Asphalt 8 and Solitaire and some very light games in the Windows App Store or whatever it's called, this is perfect for that. Just be realistic, please. Don't expect extreme performance. All right, so finally, for something as small and convenient as the Access Plus, you gotta wonder, how much does it really cost? Well, I'm happy to say that both models sell for less than $200, and I think that's a great deal. For two gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage, it's gonna run you $139, but in my opinion, you might as well go for the higher option, and that's $159 for four gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage. Now again, keep in mind, 
you cannot upgrade the internal storage by default, but you can expand your storage using your own micro SD card up to 128 gigabytes, which will store plenty of movies, plenty of uh, your own photos, your music, a few games, and all that good stuff. So guys, there you have it. Those are my thoughts on the Azul Access Plus. I gotta say, it's not bad. I mean, it didn't really disappoint me. It didn't exactly wow me, but for what it is and the kind of market it's intended for, it does the job and it doesn't cost too much. So huge thanks to Azul for making this video possible. You guys can check out more information in the video description. Also, don't hesitate to post any questions right below in the comments. I'm always here to help because I understand we all use our computers differently, so perhaps I didn't cover something that you're interested in. Well, I'm here to answer your comments, so just post them right below. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Your support means a lot, and I'll see you next time. Peace.